Andar's walls are typically the usual fare when it comes to design, but their innovative approach to this box wall at the Pilot, which is their second generation, is worth a look. And we're going to tear it apart, so stick around. Thanks for joining us today. Walletopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. That's all we do. Stuff you put things in. Those are wallets. That's what we review. Hey, but if you'd like an interactive method to find your next wallet, go to explore.walletopia.info. All kinds of filters, ability to look at different wallets, pop-up information, that kind of thing. Go there. I think you'll like it. Now, the new Pilot pop-up box, the version 2 from Andar, has made a new jump in innovation here. It's really quite interesting. And so, let's get into it. All Andar products come in a very typical packaging here. Uh, it's the same type of packaging that has a picture of the wallet on the front with uh, the particular model. It's, it's a nice touch and it's, it's consistency, which I like to see in packaging from manufacturers that have multiple wallets. Uh, they all come in this very similar type canvasy bag here. And uh, they have a thank you card. Gives you discounts, instructions with a QR code, uh, typical social media, very nice. And with the wallet itself, let's open this up. And here we go. Let's see. This is all metal here. The metal goes all the way to the top. We have leather that's here at the top. Nice money clip here, which I'll talk about. And it is a box wallet. And you go, well, oh, Mark, where's the push button? Well, we don't. It's a wheel that's right here. Move this wheel, and it is on kind of a, it's a spring-based offset wheel. You pull, roll it this way, and really you kind of hold it with your hand and do this. It push, pushes the cards up. Quite ingenious. Neat uh, little concept. I like the innovation uh, for something around a box wallet. Look at the uh, leather on this. It's very thinly cut, obviously, to be able to show how it can be adhered to this metal. The design is great because it has a, it's flush here, so very well done. There's the wheel. It only goes one direction, this way. You can't push it that way because it locks. Great little wallet. Now into the feature review of the Andar version 2 Pilot. The Andar Pilot, this is the version 2. There are two options to this. One with the money clip and one without. We have the one with, obviously. And as we get into the features of this, the main feature, of course, of uh, innovation that we look at is this wheel here. And this wheel is really what pushes, as you pull down, it pushes the, the cards up. It has a spring on it, so it comes back into place. Only goes one direction, down this way. And is a... Uh, Quite cool that way. So cards go in here, and you can get up to six cards. Those are non-embossed cards. And on the back you have a money clip, very wide, very generous. And the tension on this is amazing. I took it out, I took it off to look at it, and I had the hardest time separating the pieces just to get it back into this uh, leather piece that is on the back that it uh, connects to. So it's uh, it's great by way of its quality. And between those two, cash. Receipts, business cards, those kinds of things will go in here easily, and your credit cards go here. That's a quick review of the features of the Andar Pilot. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. Now, of course, you can put uh, fewer cards in here if you want, but it's really up to six non-embossed. Embossed looks like what you see up here. It means that it has the raised letters on it. And, uh, you know, it could be a mix, you know, four or five. This is common with all box wallets like this. Now, uh, the number of slips of cash, five would be reasonable. You have to fold it twice to get there. Now, when I ordered this wallet, there were production problems, and I waited something like four months or so before it came. And as of this recording, they're still taking back orders, uh, or pre-orders, I should say, for another run. Now, regardless, they take quality assurance seriously, which is what you like to see with vendors, which is always great. Now, from a quality perspective, this is designed in the United States, manufactured in China. This is a full-grain waxed 
oil wax leather here and it feels and really does hold on it does smell really good by the way now that being the case there have been consistent reports that the leather here begins to peel away from the aluminum which well, let me kind of show you it's really easy to see right here at the top is where you have the seam that runs down of where the leather is attached it's glued onto the metal chassis here and if you just put your finger there you can see right there how it just begins to pull away so as you move put this in and out of your pocket you can just see how this can become a problem over time where it just starts to give a lip to it like that beyond that a lot of people have wished that uh, from the version one pilot that they would have kept this little front pocket that they had on here which was really nice it's quick easy a tap capable that kind of thing now this is anodized aluminum and it has this matte black finish on it, which I really like. It has natural RFID to it, I know, I know. but it comes because of the metal, so it's all right. And it does feel really good. Nice, smooth corners on this, no issues in how it'll fit in your pocket. Now, the pricing on this is $65. Like I mentioned, this feels very durable, it is very heavy, and this wheel mechanism is really unique. I mean, let's, let's kind of take a look at the interior, shall we? Okay, if we look at the interior here, we can see the little wheel down there at the bottom, and when you turn it, it has this offset pin and it pushes this riser, which to me, it looks like a block that have the offset teeth on it that just kind of pushes it up. And of course, in the bottom of that little block there, it has to be a spring on there. If you look in the sides, there really are no, uh, you know, no stoppers there. And when I say that, other box wallets like Secred, they have felt stoppers there so that as the cards rise, they do evenly. But more importantly, they prevent them from falling out. But with this wheel here, I, I just, I. I I'm taking guesses to what it is. So let's take this wallet apart. All right, we will remove the cards here. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I can kind of figure out what we need to do here. So we need to remove this money clip. We'll do that. And where this started by accident or actually just through use, we will use that as the basis to remove this. <clears throat> See how we can pry this apart. There we go. You can see the edges. The two pieces are separated here. We follow it down. Let's see what we get here. And there we go. That is what this looks like here. Looks like there is see the sheen there's a little bit of oil that's in there and wow this is really kind of cool so let's get the camera down on this closer there we go all right there is some oil right here right here in this mechanism right there you can see that sheen there's some oil in there that's uh, to make sure the pieces work well there is this spring and this spring right here connected to this little piece right there so that's uh that's how it held on to it and if we get back to this piece here we can see that it has an offset wheel and as you pull this down ah see there's a channel in there so that's what prevents it from going too far and like i thought it was a block it moves us up moves it up in these channels that we have right here and hooked onto the wheel it can only go so far when it goes down, which the spring actually pushes it back down once you've extended it up like this. And the spring then forces it back down like that. And that is how this works. This is really ingenious. Great, great engineering here. Love it. On the leather, you can see that it uh, has glue that's applied really tight down here. Would have been nice if this edge that uh, where the seam appeared where it was easy to pull apart could have been sewn first and then it all could have been glued on and that would have addressed that piece uh, really nicely and of course both sides of this are metal for sure so now that we've taken it apart we'll get on with the rest of the review and so if we see here if we take this and do that it doesn't take much they come out and that's why those stoppers on both sides of the inside of the box is really important here because that's what actually helps it keep from coming out so easily like we're kind of seeing here but anyway now the advantage of this wheel here versus other mechanisms that we see from companies like secret and exter is that there's nothing to break off there's nothing to actually accidentally catch on and pull 
And not to say that it happens a lot with those other wallets, but this just eliminates it, eliminates it completely because it really just recedes into the environment here. And all you have is just this little wheel, nothing to catch on it. So it's really quite cool. Now it measures 4.5 by 2.5 by 0.5 and it weighs, I've seemed to be doing a lot of drum rolls on this lately, but certainly a drum roll on this one. Yes, 124 grams. Um, it's not so much that it's heavy, it's beefy. This thing will take a lot of abuse. Now there is a 12 month warranty, which really helps with the mechanical pieces in case anything goes wrong with this in the wallet. And I'm impressed with this due to the move to innovate with this uh, mechanical ejection wheel here. So it really takes quite a bit for that. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of three, usability of four, and perception of four, which gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. If you'd like to see all the rankings, go to wallatopia.info slash rankings, as well as watch these other videos. We'll see you in the next review. Thanks, bye.